Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at the different ways that you can label your images in Lightroom so that you can quickly select the best images from your shoot. Now there are three ways that you can add labels to your images in Lightroom. You can add flags and that's typically used when you have a collection of images and you're really just looking for the best image of the group. We also have star ratings which are much better suited for a group of images where you need to have a hierarchy and then we also also have color labels which can be used for pretty much anything else like maybe to tell you or to remind you that those images need to be converted to black and white. So let's take a look at how we're going to use these uh, with this group of images from Japan. So the first thing I want to do is I want to use the flags and there are three keyboard shortcuts for the different ways that you can flag things. I have this first image selected. If I tap the P key then I get a pick or a flagged image. If I tap the U key it unflags it and if I tap the X key that will actually give me a reject flag. So let's go ahead and tap the U key again to unflag this and I'm going to select this entire series of bicyclist images and I just want to pick the best image of this group. Now it's going to be difficult for me to just move through them and try to remember which is the best image so I'm going to move into compare mode. Now compare mode is this third icon right here. You can also access it by just tapping the C key. But the images are a little bit too small so I'm going to tap the tab key which will hide those panels and enable me to see the images a little bit larger. On the left we have the select and on the right we have the candidate. We can see down here that the select actually has the white diamond on it in the film strip and the candidate has the black diamond. Now my goal is to find the single best image so I'm going to want to look at these two images and whichever image is better I want it to be the select. So I can move through the candidate images either by clicking on this arrow or by using my arrow key. So I'm going to move to the next image and then move again. I think that one's a little out of focus. Move to the next one and so on until I find an image that I think is better than the one on the left. When I do, I'm going to use the up arrow key and that promotes the candidate image over to the select. Then I'll continue using the right arrow until I find an image that I like better. Once I've got an image that I like better, I'll use the up arrow key to promote it. Now I have two images that are very similar so one of the nice things that you can do in the compare mode is you can actually zoom in to an image. So I'll click and zoom and you'll notice that both images zoom at once and that's because they're locked right down here in the toolbar. I can then pan around an image if I want to look at different areas and then click again to zoom back out. Since I liked the image on the right better, I'll use the up arrow in order to move it to the select. And then we'll continue to move through the rest of the images in the sequence until I reach the last image. Because I don't like any of these other ones any better than the select, I now have the image that I like. I'll go ahead and add a flag to it, but before I tap the P key for the pick, I will need to make sure that this is the targeted image. See there's a little white line around the candidate image right now. That is the targeted image. So I need to click over on the select side and then tap the P key to add a pick to that image. When I go back to grid view by tapping the G key we can see that that image is the picked image. Now let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to the end of this photo shoot and I want to select all of these images but here I actually want to create a hierarchy. So I'm going to tap the N key this time. The N key takes me to this fourth icon which is survey mode. Now I can see all of these images at one time and because they're in the same folder I can actually change the custom sort order and sequence these images. So in this case I think it actually would work better if I sequence the images like this and I'm going to give them some different star ratings. If I feel that any of these are duplicates or they're not going to make the final cut, you'll notice when I hover my cursor on top of them I can remove them by clicking on the X icon. 
So I'm gonna remove the images that I don't want, but understand I'm only removing them from my selection. I'm not actually removing them from Lightroom. So they're still in the folder, they're just no longer part of the images that I have selected. When I tap the G key to go back to the grid view, those are the images that are selected and they're now in that custom sort order. I want to add a star rating to these, so because they're all selected, when I tap the one key, they will all get one star. If I want to move to a different image and just select that image, I'll click in the narrow gray area right here. Now this image is selected and I can tap the two key to give it two stars, or of course we can always use the icons down here in our extended view to add our second star. Now let's say I want to move through this whole shoot and rate my different images. Well, let's go ahead and scoot up near the top of the shoot and to quickly add my star ratings, I could click on an image and then tap one, scroll down, click on another image and tap one, but what might be faster is to use this paint can. I'll select it and then we can choose to load the paint can with different attributes. I'm going to choose rating and choose one star, and then I can simply click on top of any image and it will give it a one star rating. So this is going to save me from having to select the image and then give it one star. So let's say I like this image and this image. I like this image as well. And I'm just gonna move through here fairly quickly selecting some of my favorite images. And don't forget, we could go through these one by one in loop view, or if I wanted to, I could change the thumbnail size by using the plus icon to increase the thumbnail size or the minus icon to decrease the thumbnail size. I just wanna make sure that I have a number of these set to at least one star. Finally, when I move through the entire shoot and I've labeled all of the ones that I want with my one star, I put back the painter tool by either clicking the escape key or by setting the paint can back into the toolbar. Finally, because I mentioned that you can also add color labels, well, I'll just select an image and the easiest way to add a color label is to tap six through nine. So six will give us a red color label, seven goes to yellow, eight goes to green, and nine goes to blue. One last shortcut before I wrap up. If you decide that you do wanna see your images full screen, you might wanna try tapping the F key. That will hide all of the interface. Then toggle on your cap locks key because what that will do is every time you rate your image or you flag your image, it will auto advance the image so that you don't have to continuously tap the right arrow or left arrow keys. So with the cap locks key on, if I give this image one star, Lightroom automatically moves to the next image. If I give this one star, it automatically moves to the next image. If I don't wanna give this one star, instead I can just use the right arrow and move to the next image. And of course, once I'm finished, I can tap the F key again to get out of that full screen mode. And if I wanna bring back my panels, I can tap the tab key. The thumbnails are a little bit large, so I'll just use the minus key to zoom out so that I can see a few more images at one time. So there you have it, three different ways that you can find the best image and label it using either a flag, a star rating, or a color. My name's Julianne Cost, thanks for watching.